What's going on guys, Eagles fans, Eagles Nation, Heavy Metal Eagle Podcast here, Sean here, coming at you guys with another video. Uh, the video I dropped this morning was supposed to be last night, I guess I passed out before I hit the button to upload it, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to put out a twofer here, hopefully before game day hits, hopefully my service stays right, and I can get this guys out to you before the game, because otherwise it's going to come out halfway through the game, after the game. And I'm gonna look like I just made up all my predictions on the spot. Well, just so we know, it is 9.48 a.m. in the morning right now, so these predictions that I'm making are before the game. If the video doesn't download until after the game, sorry about it. Anyway, um, Eagles versus Bears. We're gonna do some predictions. We're gonna give out uh, you know, some ideas of who I think are gonna be the players of the game this week. Uh, let's just go ahead and get started with the Eagles uh, and the score. Uh, I'm going to go pretty close to my Tennessee score prediction. I'm going to say it's probably going to be like 35-17, somewhere in that range. I expect the Bears to get an early touchdown. I expect them to build momentum early in this game. Uh, Justin Fields is electric. I think it'll take a little while for our defense to kind of settle down. Not really worried about the wide receivers as much as I am the read option and the run game that the Bears bring. Um, so I think they'll get a score early, a score late, and I think somewhere along the way they'll find a way to add two field goals or uh, maybe a, a defensive score or something. I think the Eagles will have a turnover in this game. I think we're a little overdue. We had a couple there uh, a few weeks in a row, and then we've been relatively clean since then. Um, I expect an Eagles turnover today. With that being said, though, I also expect this Eagles offense to move up and down the field at will. So what we're going to go ahead and we're going to guesstimate here on my end um, I'm going to go ahead and say Jalen Hurts, uh, north of 250, uh, probably another two touchdowns. Uh, I think we have a decent rushing game from Jalen today. I think he's going to rush for probably 80-plus yards and another score. Um, I think since Miles hit 1,000 yards and we've kind of clinched the playoffs, I expect uh, us to give some extra guys a chance on offense. I expect Kenny Gainwell to have a decent game today. I expect Boston Scott to get some touches today. I think with Miles being over 1,000, 10 touchdowns, uh, I think we're going to worry about just kind of not force-feeding him so much, giving some of the other guys the workload. Um, just trying to keep guys fresh. I expect to see a little bit more of Zach Pascal and Quez Watkins in this game. Um, also, probably some heavy Devontae Smith. He's pushing close to 1,000 yards. I expect the coaching to try and get him his first 1,000-yard season. Um, so AJ might be more of a decoy today. Um, with that being said, AJ can go off at any point with his rack ability. So with that being said, I think Devontae Smith goes over 100 yards. I think Pascal or Quez is going to have a touchdown between the both of them, or one or the other is going to have a touchdown. I expect Gainwell to have a touchdown, Boston to possibly have a touchdown. Those two will probably split one as well. Um, I think overall we're probably going to put up like 400 yards offense, probably like 150 on the ground minimum, uh, 250 through the air, puts you right around 400. I think that's a pretty nice round number. Uh, we don't have any red zone struggles. We should put points on the board every time, 35 points sounds good to me. Um, I think that would be a good game. Now, obviously, we could go off in this game. I've been saying for weeks that this offense is only getting better and better. So with that being said, we could go off. But I'm going to I'm gonna low ball a little bit this week. I've went kind of high and above the bar with the Giants and the Titans game before that. Um, I, I think we're going to spread the ball around. I think we're going to try and keep guys healthy. I think if anybody gets nicked up, you're going to see them come out and someone step into their place. We're too close to the playoffs to risk injury now. Um, so with that being said, you know, I think that's why we're going to have a little bit more of a moderate game uh, in terms of yardage and everybody. And I know 400 yards is still a lot of yards. 150 on the ground is still a lot of yards. But with the best O-line in football, a trio of good running backs, I think we'll get it done. Um, I think that Justin Fields is probably going to account for two touchdowns. Um, I think Justin Fields will probably put up 50-plus yards on the ground at least. Um, I'm not saying our defense is leaky like that. We have done a good job containing QBs, but Justin Fields is different. He is fast. Uh, he is very, very elusive. So I think he'll have a decent game. I don't think he'll have a great game through the air, but I think he'll have a decent game overall. With that being said, guys, I want to hear what y'all think down below. I'm looking very much forward to this game, very much looking forward to this matchup, very excited. Continuing to thank you guys 
for supporting me, supporting this channel, helping me grow. Please like, please subscribe, please comment down below. And as always, be good people, be good to each other. I love you guys. Have a great day.